Okay, we've got the old Briggs and Stratton block all cleaned up now. You may notice it's shining a little bit more than it was. That's because we've just clear coat lacquered it, which actually uh, turned out rather good. Got a fair bit of original paint that should be there for life now. It's got a nice clear coat of lacquer, even on the uh, bits where the paint's gone. So yeah, it shouldn't go all manky. We've done that to every piece of the engine now. Or at least most of it. We've got a couple of little bits still to clean off and do. But all the block, the sump and the shroud is also done. I'll just go and fetch that shroud now because it don't look too bad. So obviously the tin work suffers the most corrosion wise so it's a bit pitted in places but it paintwork has come up nice with the coat of lacquer and the original Briggs decal although a bit blurry on the camera at the moment doesn't want to focus in this light has come up really nicely as well perfectly readable yeah it's nice I reckon this is a fairly fairly early model 5s we'll get the uh, serial number and everything checked out but on the uh, back of the engine where the uh, code and the spec plate is looks like it should have the old style brass spec plate there as well but unfortunately that's missing but that would be an early an early engine indication as well I should think but yeah we decided to leave the dents all part of its history yeah better than painting it and the clear coat lacquer has made it come up quite nicely should look good when it's all together we've also just lapped in the valves they're both done so we should have some compression back now we've just got to clean out the cylinder clean out the bearings and check oil ways and stuff and then we can start piecing the engine back together so the old model 5s Briggs and Stratton is coming together nicely I've got to say I'm really pleased with how it's turning out <laughs> looks great it's all going together nice yeah it's come up really nice gonna keep on putting it together and see how far we get tonight probably just get to having the whole block together and ready to go we've got a couple of other bricks that we need to um, spray with the lacquer tomorrow so uh, we won't be able to put the ignition back plate on or the head but we'll be able to get all the valve assembly all in and the rest of the block ready to go okay we've got quite a bit of the old Briggs and Stratton back together now it's looking really nice really pleased with how it's turning out so far got all the ignition in now uh, got a cracking spark from the mag everything's good got a little bit of compression we haven't fully talked up the head bolts yet and obviously with the first run compression will come up a bit anyway uh, we're gonna have to run it on a Suffolk carburetor for the first couple of times and then hopefully we'll be able to get a more genuine carburetor set up but uh, yeah definitely got some weird bits and pieces on this engine this oil filler cap is really strange and quite lethal <laughs> it's uh, sort of spron loaded you just put it back like that check your oil level fill it up and then when you're done spring it back down really bizarre I haven't seen that before but yeah so far everything's cleaning up pretty nicely we've left the head bare and the um, barrel is also bare but yeah everything else we can spin the engine around without causing complete chaos which isn't going so well we've got the engine's original decal there which is all pretty nice the engine turns over with no unusual clonks just the usual rattly valve train on a air cooled engine not a great deal of end flow it's not too bad I reckon in the engine is probably from the late 40s maybe early 50s I have to um, find all my spokestack login details and uh, post a serial number up on there and see what people say I did find a on the back of the flywheel there is a letter and a number which on the back of the ignition back plate on the ZZ was the month and the year the engine was built this one has say 52 is its number so maybe it's a 1952 Briggs and Stratton 5S who knows we'll find out though yeah the um, 
reproduction silencer looks quite nice on there. Pretty pleased with that. That should look good on the WMB. Uh, probably just going to have this on here for the first run just to see what it sounds like and to see if this is heat resistant paint. I've got a funny feeling it isn't. So I should probably, uh, to match the WMB's cylinder head and block we should probably strip this off and use the heat resistant matte black finished paint which would look a lot better but uh, yeah we're getting somewhere now with this engine we've only had it for about nine hours <laughs> been working on it for a couple of hours on and off all day but yeah it's looking really good I'm really pleased with how it's turning out yeah. so there you go that's pretty much the finished engine now. All we got to do is fit the clutch assembly, but we're going to leave that off for a little while. We're going to go through that and free it all up, spend some time on it. But other than that, the rest of the engine's complete. We have to put this angled exhaust on because the uh, straight one I've got for the WMB doesn't clear the carburetor. Obviously, the WMB's carburetor comes out and then sits over here. But other than that, everything else is fine got oil in there now got a little bit of compression hopefully enough to start and we got ourselves a nice lodge CN spark plug in there which works fine got our spark plug cap on there using metal ones now so I never have a problem with them yeah the engine's ready to go it's full of oil just filled her up yeah we're ready for a quick run so let's take her around back see if she again 